This is Vito Rebecca. Welcome to Open Doors. So I'm a new assistant professor. Uh, I started here back in July 2020 and our laboratory is located in the Bloomberg School of Public Health in the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. And our laboratory focuses on studying this rare subtype of, of melanoma called acral lentiginous melanoma. It's the rarest in Caucasian populations, but actually represents the most common type of melanoma in patients of color. And it's also the deadliest. So this right here is one of the pieces of equipment our laboratory is most excited about using. It's a cutting edge microscope that allows us to perform live cell imaging at the single cell level. Uh, we're using it to better dissect the different mechanisms these acral melanoma cells use to escape therapy and evade the immune system as well as metastasize in a, in a patient's body. And so shown here is one example of some of the images we've begun to get. We've expressed a fluorescent protein in these melanoma cells that allows us to see them when they're growing in contact with another cell type. And we have multiple projects trying to understand what the significance of this different change in morphology might mean in the way the melanoma cells escape therapy. So something we're really excited about in this coming year is a project that is uh, pretty mature, focused on trying to understand why existing acromelanoma patients don't respond uh, that durably to uh, what is considered the best standard of care for them. Uh, they're treated with these cell cycle protein inhibitors. Uh, but unfortunately, the latest clinical trial evidence shows that these patients have very short progression-free survivals. And so we have a uh, interesting large-scale project focused on understanding the resistance to that class of inhibitor. And we found an exciting combination that we are just finishing up the final mouse model uh, that we're going to publish and hopefully can guide the future development of a clinical trial to uh, improve the outcomes of those patients. One of the main reasons I came here to open up my laboratory at Hopkins uh, really boiled down to the, the reputation Hopkins has, the level of research and how exciting and how excited the different members of the department were when I came to interview. Uh, even though it was a virtual interview, I could immediately tell how warm and collegial and supportive the department was. I uh, was super excited about all the opportunities to collaborate with other departments at Hopkins. Uh, and really all those factors in together along with our chair, uh, Ashi, um, being how supportive and, and, and great of a scientist she is, it made the decision really easy for me. Mm -hmm.